Yo YouTube, what is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video where we are here back on PvP Wars Skyblock Origins. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day today. And real quickly, if you guys are new here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because as you guys can tell by the title, uh, yeah baby, we are back in business. Ladies and gentlemen, you might notice on the right side of my screen, we are currently back to IS Top number one and hey i've been telling you guys you know we had some value stored um so right now where we're at at least from where i know right now i i have to talk to the island today but i'm pretty sure we've placed most of our value right now it kind of gets us like a hair ahead uh soraka overs island sugars island i mean no it definitely may beats out these islands but soraka is our big competition and over like these three islands right here are really the competition right now in my opinion and so right now we are currently sitting uh in first place with 13 billion by now by the way guys if you're not familiar that is a 10 percent of how much we've spent on value so realistically in value alone right now we have over a hundred and thirty billion dollars spent right now in value which is just ridiculous if you think about it i mean we're only like i think what less than two weeks into the server and already that much money spent so it's kind of crazy if you think about it but recently we've done some stuff on our island to optimize more for making money here which in my opinion is really really good um we were kind of low-key trying to hide some of our value just to see where other islands were at but the thing is is when you guys hide a value you you don't actually get to make money on all that value you have stored so we just decided we'll catch up we'll place our value and then now we're going to be able to go ahead and at least make more money with the value placed uh if then if it was hidden and this is such a long season there's really no reason to hide value this early on so that's why we're just kind of at the point of just placing now um and doing really really good now we're going to take a look at the island i'm going to show you guys some of the updates and upgrades that we have done overnight which i'm really excited for uh but i do have some things i only have a vote key and a mag or a void key right here so let's just go ahead and let's just open these real quickly nothing crazy so if we go ahead open up the vote key right here let's see what we can get maybe we could get some mob coins mob coins in my opinion are the most valuable thing here on the server but we got some xp which isn't horrible moving on from there let's go come on give me something good give me something good right now ladies and gentlemen give me mob coins mob coins oh there we go 1k mob mob coins see i get so happy when i see the mob coins bro that's exactly what we need okay and finally the last item is a cabbage plant okay so we actually have four cabbage plants now i really haven't messed with seeds they just haven't been worth it to grind um if they had come out with some more seeds that a little bit more op for money i think we would be using them it's just these they're just too little the server eco moves too quick to the point where it just doesn't make sense for us to go ahead and like grind seeds but let's see cash value got 100k right there um i only have like 30 mil right now if we take a quick look at bow top right here uh looks like rex stun is in first place nip an island member of ours is currently at five bills so that's really good right here come on what else do we have do we have anyone else Ooh, we don't have anyone else in the top two and, and that kind of makes sense like i said guys we kind of at the point right now where we're just maxing out everything and just placing spawners and all that so it kind of makes sense here but yeah let me go ahead we're gonna head over to our island like i said we're gonna take a look at it show you guys some of you know what we're doing now since we you know our eyes top number one and show you guys uh what's up and ladies and gentlemen we are here back on the amazing island of gucci thick yes i mean if you guys haven't seen our island it's one freaking amazing and crazy island here on the server we got helicopters we got an ikea uh we just got a ton of random stuff here so we love to see it so um if you guys have been keeping up with the series you guys have noticed we used to have a ton of specific like farms underneath here that were like built with redstone and stuff like that for spawners and you're gonna notice just a very simple overtake here in regard that like we essentially are just going to drop farms we're going to what's simple right here pretty much all these mobs right here at least are currently in the drop farm format um and i mean it used to be very complicated we used to run you know all specific designs and all that and i don't even know if i should be leaking this but essentially right here is what we're going to be moving towards uh axolotls are probably some of the simplest farm design they literally just drop farm right here and so right now this is kind of currently what we are doing island wise right now just really basic drop farms right here now i am noticing right now with the axolotls these are currently set to 325 per i do i think that's because of the amount that drops like the stack that drops 
from an optimization standpoint, it makes sense to only do 325 axolotls because I think you might not get more than that in a stack. I could be wrong. If not, I really don't understand why we don't have 500 spawners in here because I'm pretty sure our spawners are set to... Oh, what the heck? Ice upgrade. Is this glitched? Oh, so it looks like right now we actually currently haven't invested any money. I thought we were at maxed out spawners. So we aren't even at maxed out spawners right now. So these farms are low-key kind of like not optimized at all. We still could have 500 spawners in a single... Uh, spawner stack or chunk so this farm is on right here though and it's basically what's underneath our island i think this is what's going to be uh taking over kind of the bottom of our island we're just gonna have a ton of these spread out everywhere now with chunks you do have to keep it in consideration chunks and all that and uh so it will be kind of interesting how we do i mean it's not really that interesting you just gotta make sure you place it out so all these farms are in chunks but i think we're on a 400 by 400 right now so there's plenty of space for all these farms and what we're gonna be doing and how we're gonna be expanding it here but really a lot of the old methods we were doing i mean you guys remember we used to be grinding uh the cobble cube this was our number one priority we had you know two to three people on it at a minimum every 24 hours and it just got really nerfed they've nerfed a lot of the money making methods truthfully that like have been uh what a lot of people grind so it's a very constantly changing eco you have to always stay up to date uh like this really just isn't worth it right now you make no money on it and it kind of sucks because with the new dragon kit that came out we were really hoping that the fortune 7 was gonna kind of re remake this cobble cube op i mean we spent so much money on it at the beginning and at the beginning this is definitely one of the best money making methods but cobble cube at this point is just it's it's pretty much trash it's no reason to use it in melons you guys might have noticed um we currently have stopped more expansion of our melon farms but we really aren't messing with them at this point all the uh ecos i showed you guys prior like a lot of them just don't make sense and kind of melon is in that situation where uh it's just not making us the money that it was at the beginning and when you get to a certain point uh you have to go ahead and kind of go to more automated farms and that's kind of what we're just doing at this point i mean it looks like someone just sold these uh melons not too long ago but yeah the melon farm really just isn't working that much uh we do have also a mob coin generator setup right here this is really good um, i actually have a mob coin generator here i need to get placed but we're at least kind of expanding to some more stuff but moving forward i think we're going ahead and just trying to go ahead and move to a more automated system like with these axolotls and whatnot but yeah guys this is pretty much what our is top number one is looking like right now um i think we're gonna probably in the next few days gonna have a lot more crazier farms because right now i think the meta is currently changing again i think we're gonna see uh, a shift and who knows it might be a certain spawner like that i think we have a a meta update kind of come incoming very very soon which i'm excited for i do like the meta updates uh because right now uh, things are kind of kind of a little stale right now i'm not gonna lie chat if melon farms were cool but we don't need to expand those anymore uh the axolotls are good but they're automated and really the other spawners right now none of them compete with it at all so hopefully they make it so you can upgrade like ravager spawners or something their drops or something just to make things a little bit more worth it um but yeah we're gonna figure it out this is currently what an is top one 13 billion dollar island looks like it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it uh but yeah we are is top one right now i assume some other islands probably have some value that they could place to maybe get ahead of us but as of right now, all that matters is that number one next to our rank in the uh, in the scoreboard right here. So yeah, boys, I think I'm going to go ahead and slowly end off today's video here. I did real quickly just want to mention, guys, uh, if you guys want, make sure to go ahead and join my Discord. The link to my Discord will be down below. Uh, in my Discord, it's just a way to get notified when I post and all this stuff. So make sure you guys go ahead, click that Discord link down below, and then just go ahead and check out the check out the channel. Ask me any questions. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to be doing some PPRs giveaways in there and stuff like that. So it will be really, really cool and fun. Fun. But guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video here on PvP or Skyblock Origin. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And until then, bye bye.